Hey, Connor here in Piccadilly in London. Got the big advertising behind the statue here in Piccadilly. And down all around here, double decker buses of London. Here's a harsh question heard this morning on a podcast. Who's the least reliable person you know? If you think about your friends, your colleagues, the people you work with, family members, which single individual is the least reliable person? And the worrying thing, maybe it's you. What if one of your friends, one of your work colleagues puts you now down as the name that they think is the least reliable person? What impact would it have on your future, on your life? And if the least reliable person is you to yourself, you gotta learn to keep your promises. In this chaotic world, where there's so much uncertainty, so much challenge, the coronavirus, if you can't keep the promises you make to yourself, it makes it very hard to live well. Keep your own promises. Are you on anyone's list as the least reliable person that they know? What impact would that have on your friendship, on your life? What impact would that have on you if your word means very little? And another podcast I was listening to was uh, Alex Sheen, who years ago just uh, had a revelation of how few people keep their word and he printed out a series of business cards uh, which essentially were a promise and he handed them out and these little cards they are a promise you write down your promise you hand it to somebody else and you say when I live to that promise I will come back and collect that card but I cannot come back and ask for that card until I've fulfilled the promise that I've written on the card uh, I, a friend of mine, Tony, we, we've met a few times over the last while to talk about friendship, what it is to be a friend, what it is to be someone who others can count on you when they need it. They can call you and ask you and know that you're, you'll say, I will be there. You can count wow. on me. So this question, who's the least reliable person you know? How many people around you would put your name down? What impact will it have on your life as a parent, as a friend, as a son, as a brother, as a sister, if you can't keep your promises? And not keep them when they're convenient, but keep them when you give your word. Make sure your word matters. So who's the least reliable person you know and how can you work hard to make sure that you are not that person? I think in the world we live in, there's so much chaos and the one way that you really reduce the amount of chaos in your world is when you give your word you live up to it be the reliable person for your friends for your family and for yourself have a good one it's connor from london uh, hope you're well uh, i've got coronavirus now in europe so keep safe keep distant don't shake hands wash your hands uh, stay safe. Have a good one. Hey, Connor here in Piccadilly Circus in London. Got the big advertising here behind me. Statue in Piccadilly. And here we are in London with the double decker buses around. So thank you for your subscribes, your likes, your comments, your shares. Keeps this channel, inspires me. Thank you so much for that. Have a great one.